Hello, my name is Grady Edwards and I'm a Digital Integration Specialist with Horry County Schools. Today we'll be exploring Code.org. Code.org is a web-based uh, program that will allow you to uh, get to getting started with code. It'll take you through uh, the basics of code all the way up to creating an app. It's got a, a ton of excellent resources if you're looking, like I said, to learn more with code or even begin uh, teaching code in your classroom. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, give us some feedback or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the other right-hand corner. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the things you can do with Code.org. Before we get too far into it, I would really go ahead and recommend uh, creating the account. You can do so by clicking the sign-in button in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, once you do that, all right, it'll ask you if you have an account already or ask you to create a new account. And as with, with most of sign-in uh, sign -in options, you can create with a Google account, Facebook, or even a Microsoft account. And I'd recommend doing so um, with Google. But you're going to want to create an account if, you want, if you're interested in, in seeing your progress and taking a look at, at some profiles and some projects that you've worked on uh, in the past. So I'd recommend you doing that. You don't necessarily um, have to. Um, but like I said, if you're trying to monitor your growth and see um, some of the projects you've done in the past or working toward, it might be a good idea to go ahead and create an account. All I'd really like to do, if we'll go back to the homepage here, is, is go over some of these um, sub-tabs um, with you and see some of the things you can do with Code.org, some of the stuff that it allows you to do. First, let's go to the Learn. One of the great things about um, the, the Learn feature um, within Code.org is, is the course catalog. And much like um, Swift on uh, the, the coding software that, that Apple provides, all of their um, computer science courses, coding courses, all of those are absolutely free. And they range from K-12, or excuse me, yeah, K-5, 6, 12, and University Plus. So you can literally go from you know, somebody who doesn't know anything about code to learning the basics to creating apps and getting started with, with some computer science um, curriculum pieces. And it's all free uh, for you to use. So like I said, if you're a teacher looking for more information on code and, and learning code yourself, this would be a great place uh, to look. And it'd also be really nice for your students. If your students are interested in it, here's a free web-based um, course catalog um, for you. Under teach, this is this is pretty exciting as well. If you're looking to either join a class or lead a class, this teach section will allow you um, to do so. To do so, as you can see here, um, spots still available. If you want to go ahead and and um, check out the professional learning programs uh, for high school and middle school teachers, I would click learn more. Once you do that, okay, you can see kind of what courses are available to you and what options you have. And again, these are um, completely free. And down here, I thought this was a nice little piece of information. 98% of attendees would recommend the program to another teacher. Uh, I have not taken a course myself, but I can imagine that it's um, it's, it's user friendly uh, and it, it goes at a, a nice pace for you. So like I said, whether you're, you're beginning, beginning with code or you're you know kind of trying to advance your knowledge of code, I think this is going to give you um, a nice, nice option. It's going to be a worthwhile PD for free, which is nice. I'll just go back to the Learn account. And again, you can see here, once you've kind of uh, decided what coding curriculum you're looking to do so, you can go ahead and sign, um, sign in for professional learning down here. And again, here's a full course catalog. You can, if you choose to, use the information here and actually build your own classes and use these resources uh, to teach code, which is, which is pretty exciting. So again, even if you're just beginning with code, the resources are here for you and the curriculum is already built and you can assign these to students through the full course catalog. And again, we have it for elementary, middle, and high school, so it's pretty exciting. Under projects, um, these are going to be where uh, fun little activities and a lot of these um, I think are relevant for the kids. Uh, they do a lot of, you know, Star Wars and, and things that are kind of in with pop culture. And this is are like fun little uh, activities. Some of them range from, you know, like I said, getting started with the basics of code to the more advanced uh, app creation type stuff. But these projects and games make coding fun so your kids can learn, like I said, the basics of coding to the advanced principles uh, within these um, stories and games. So I would really recommend, like I said, if your kids are just interested in it or you're interested in learning more about it, checking out some of these um, projects and games. And finally, the last subtitle I'll go over is this is the stats um, information. 
stats information. And I thought it was pretty easy that literally we can go choose any state. And since we're South Carolina, let's take a look. 4,744 open open computing, computing jobs, and that's four times the state average um, demand rate. So like I said, you talk about what's relevant, what, you know, are we creating our kids, um, you know, college and career uh, ready? Here's a perfect example of, of the jobs out there um, via code. So like I said, if your kids are looking to, you know, what are they going to do for the careers? What options do they have? I think coding is a great place to start. This gives you some information here and you can view a whole state fact sheet that'll tell you a little bit more about what's coming in regards to computer science and what options kids will have uh, that coding uh, can provide. And again, all of this is completely free, so it's really exciting. And I won't take the time to go through the, the help us and about section, but you may be interested in learning more. And like I said, the, the website is very user friendly. And if you have any questions or you need any help, somebody can chat with you pretty instantaneously and, and give you the resources and information you need. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.